The biggest quake on Mars, recording a magnitude 5, has been detected. Yeah, Mars quakes uh, have been monitored now for about a couple of years since NASA's InSight mission landed uh, in 2018. And we're starting to find a lot of interesting things. So we found a lot of these Mars quakes, but most of them are, are weak, magnitude 3 or 4. But we also know that we expect them to get bigger. So again, if we think about uh, earthquakes like Mars quakes, we use a kind of this magnitude or Richter scale where a five is 10 times more powerful than a four. And we do know, again, even from the, uh, the Victorian earthquake uh, a number of months ago, that when you start to get into the magnitude fives, you start to actually get some real rumbling going on. So this magnitude five quake was one that uh, was actually quite sizable. And this is obviously going to be not just interesting for understanding the history of the planet, because we want to know, is it active underneath Mars surface? Why is it apparently less active than Earth? And this tells us a lot about potentially what's underneath and the history of Mars. But if you're also going to start sending people to Mars and they're going to be going on to places that have magnitude five or so earthquakes or Mars quakes, you need to be able to build structures that survive and withstand that. So this is really critical stuff, not just to knowing Mars, but future planning for astronauts. Absolutely. Brad Tucker, we have to leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Take care.